yesterday it was looking awful tornado-y and I remembered about this one time that I almost got tornadoed while I was on a stakeout. So there I was working at the regular sports authority. I was working in Atlanta and do y'all remember how I told you uh, one time on a different stakeout story that the rule of he who smelt it dealt it? <laughs> it's true. So we had gotten a tip that there was a guy that was stealing at one of the stores in Atlanta and he worked in a golf department, I guess. And he was, uh, the guy, the tip, the guy that gave us a tip told us that he was taking merchandise out to his car just during the day and like putting it in his trunk. So the guy that gave the tip, he's an important player in the story, but not a golf player, I don't think. So anyway, so we decide that we're going to do a stakeout. So me and my coworker, Tim, we go in my 1998 Chevrolet Blazer and we stake out this store in a pretty nice part of Atlanta. So I'm saying we were a little bit like sticking out like a sore thumb in the Blazer. Plus it was in the middle of the summer and it was super hot. So we kept like taking turns uh, with the windows down and then running the air conditioner. It's like a little treat to keep ourselves sane. We staked out this store for a week. <laughs> this was also before I realized that a company can't ask you to use your person or vehicle without compensating you in some way for uh, using your personal vehicle, especially on such a long stakeout. But okay, whatever. So we staked out the store and we really didn't find too much um, until the last couple of days. So things started to heat up. The first thing that we saw was this guy, not the guy that gave the tip, but the one that he gave the tip on. He came outside carrying a golf club, kind of like in a very casual, nonchalant, like this could be a cane, this could be a $450 golf club. And he goes to the back of his car in the parking lot, which he was parked in the very first space in the parking lot. So if you've worked in retail at all, you know that it's a huge no-no that uh, employees have to park really far away from the store. So we can save the best parking spots for our best customers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I have a lot of animosity. Okay, so... He puts the golf club in the back of his car. Okay, so we are... Now, this was... Gosh, I was 23, maybe. So, 1990-something. And we were using a VHS camcorder to record it. So, we're like sitting in the blazer like this with a camcorder recording this guy. And we're like, you know, ha like you can't... It's not like you can just stand out there like you know, on a reality TV show and, like, get somebody, you know, it all has to be, like, stealth, hiding behind cars, you know, just the right angle so you can see them but they can't see you. So, we got a couple of instances of him taking stuff out to his car. So, we decide that we're going to get, I don't know, like, a certain um, number of times that we had to get him, like, you know, dead to rights before we were able to interview him. So, he'd already stolen stuff for sure, we know. And my coworker, Tim, he had left the stakeout to go get us something to eat. And I was still sitting in the car, in, in the blazer, watching. Okay, so it gets awful tornado-y. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it starts raining, and then it starts hailing. And if you've lived in Georgia long enough to know, you know when it gets really quiet and kind of green. That's tornado weather. So, sure enough. <laughs> A tornado starts to come through Atlanta right where I am and I'm stuck in this like sheer panic do I go inside for my own safety and risk the investigation like he's obviously he knows everybody knows you know that I'm asset protection and so if I walk into the store I'm totally going to blow up our spot but if I stay in the blazer I'm probably going to get scooped up like Dorothy so what <laughs> 
I call my coworker like on my Nokia phone, which costs like $42 a minute. And he was like at Jason's deli and said that they made them all move away from the window. And he's like, you really need to go somewhere. So I was like, okay, I'm going to drive over into this parking garage and ride out the tornado in this parking garage. And sure enough, like I, I was not the only person in Atlanta that had that idea. So now there's like this big traffic jam of us trying to get into the parking garage before the tornado comes over. And sure enough, as soon as I had gotten into the parking garage, which was flooded, by the way, the tornado passes not really on top of us. It because we were all really safe where we were, but it passes around the side of where we are. Terrifying. But still, like, let's back up to the fact that why in the world would I not just, like, go into the store? Like, is it really that important that we catch this uh guy stealing a golf club? I mean, huh. So, right after the tornado passes by, I just pull back over to the sports authority and get my little parking place where we had been sitting. And here comes my coworker with our Jason Staley, and we just go right back to work. So this is what happened. So he, he steals a couple more times. So we go in eventually, you know, it's this whole big coordinated thing and we go in. So I'm trying to get information from the guy that gave us the tip. I want to know what you saw, you know, where you saw, how you saw, what does he know? You know, how much do you know? Like, I'm just getting pumping for all the info. You know, I want to know what my best shot is to get a confession out of this guy so while I'm getting the guy that gave me the tip, while I'm talking to him and getting all the information, he says, and we went to the back and then we got some stuff out of the boxes. And I was like, are you, are you stealing too? And he was like, oh. <laughs> it's a two for one. So, he got fired, they got fired, everybody went to jail, except me, I didn't get fired or go to jail, or my coworker Tim, and nobody was tornadoed. That's it for Stakeout Stories, y'all tune in next time to find out what happened.